Good evening, everyone, and thank you very much for joining us tonight. We really appreciate you being with us. I'm Jana, and I'm here with my co-chair, Bob, and we will be presenting your awards tonight. Let me say that the voting was huge and our biggest numbers ever. All the award nominees deserve accolades for supporting our community and truly adding value in these unprecedented times. Thank you, Jana, and thank you to everybody joining us tonight. It is our 23rd annual Business Awards of Excellence, and you may have noticed by now, but uh, we are virtual this year. It's a little different than uh, having everybody stand around in an auditorium or sit around in an auditorium and eat a meal with us, but uh, it's virtual, it's exciting, it's different, and uh, thank you to people like you for making this and a difference in our community. Our community is strengthened because of you, and th that's why we're here. We would also like to say thank you to our sponsors because without them, we could not even do this tonight. First, let's thank Armor Pro Audio. Thank you, Bob and Liam for all the help and sponsorship. Bob has done a great job as usual and we thank the committee. Now our committee is definitely something, uh, a committee that helps us and uh, is definitely um, there to get this going and make sure it goes smooth. Uh, but most importantly, we'd like to thank our uh, general manager, Kim, who did a ton of work in putting this together. I think she learned a lot about uh, social media and uh, going virtual. Absolutely. And so a round of applause that we would normally ask for. So you can do that in, in your own home for us. That would be great. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit quickly about the sponsorships and... Uh, each category. So sponsoring the Outstanding Commercial Retail Award this year is Fanshawe College Woodstock Oxford Regional Campus. So thank you to them. Sponsoring the Food Service Award is Woodstock Print. Thank you. Uh, and then sponsoring the Outstanding New Business Award is Cowan Insurance Group. Thank you. Sponsoring the Young Entrepreneurs Award is Community Futures Oxford. Thank you very much. And then lastly, sponsoring the Community Engagement Award is BDO Canada. Thank you very much. So here's a quick rundown on how this process will work tonight. We have sent out blank applications for nominations for all five categories. Then we received the nominations back and the top three were all asked to have their nomination stand. And if they agreed, then we asked for those nominees to create a two minute commercial type video uh, from their phones to let voters know who they are, what they do, um, anything that they want that they want the general public to know about their business, and of course uh, how they are into their particular uh, category. We then posted the three nominees videos in each of the five categories on Monday, last Monday actually, November 2nd at noon, and we allowed you one week to make some voting. And we accepted one vote per email address. We tallied the votes and here we are and it's pretty exciting. Yeah, it was very exciting. We had so much vo voting going on immediately, we were worried we might crash the system. <laughs> Thankfully, that didn't happen and it all came off without a hitch. So thank you for those of you that voted. We had some very tight races. It was yes. triple checked because they were so close, Janet. It was that Absolutely. close. Yep. So kudos to all you voters and to all our nominees. It verifies that we had worthy candidates in all our categories, so thank you very much. Yes, definitely. We will present the category, we will announce the nominees, and the sponsor for each of the categories. Then we will play the sponsor's video first, and then that will be followed by the winner's video. So, yes, guess what? Let's get on with this show. Absolutely. So, we begin this evening's program with the Outstanding Commercial Retail Award which will be presented to an individual or business that's demonstrated commitment, innovation, and excellence in their field while providing outstanding customer service. The three finalists in the Outstanding Commercial Retail Award category are Bower Hill Services, Select Heating and Cooling, and Produce Express. The sponsor of the Outstanding Commercial Retail Award is Fanshawe College, Woodstock, Oxford campus. Let's watch the sponsor's video first and then reveal who the winner is. 
Hi, I'm Jennifer McLean and I'm the Associate Dean here at Fanshawe College at the Woodstock Oxford Regional Campus and we're proud to be sponsoring the Outstanding Commercial Retailer Award. At Fanshawe College, connecting with our communities is one of our core values and we are proud of the connections that we have built in Woodstock. We're pleased to be part of and support the Woodstock District Chamber of Commerce because of what we have in common. We're both in the business of helping people succeed. In particular, this Excellence Award highlights passion, dedication, innovation, and a focus on people as the driving force behind growth and accomplishment. This is what we believe in at Fanshawe, to foster the skills and knowledge to help our graduates succeed and become contributing members to our community. So on behalf of Fanshawe College and all our students, faculty and staff, we offer a heartfelt congratulations and announce that the winner is Hi everyone, my name is Dale Shearhorn and I am the owner of Bower Hill Services. Our team is very honoured to receive this nomination and would like to thank our customers and community partners for their ongoing support to our business. Our focus has been to provide quality tree service in the Woodstock area since 2012. We employ full-time tree professionals and arborists and have provided placement opportunities for students looking to gain experience while in school for tree care. Please have a quick look at our team in action. Don't wait until a tree branch has already fallen and done damage. The best time to prune or remove trees or branches is when the weather is cold and the trees are dormant. The best arborist for the job? Bower Hill Services. No matter the size, let our team of professionals at Bower Hill Services tame your urban jungle. We have fully licensed arborists offering 24-hour service, specializing in rigging and climbing to get in those tight spots. Call us at Bower Hill Services for a free, no-obligation quote and assessment before any damage happens. Customer service and customer satisfaction is extremely important to our business. We are not perfect, but always strive to do a job right and make sure the customer is happy. Removing trees and hazards can often be a dangerous job. We ensure all hazards are cared for in a safe manner and cleanup and protection to lawns remains a priority at all times. Because we are a local business, we value our community and support local and believe it is our responsibility to give back when we can. Some of the exciting ways we have been able to give back have included giving out smile cookies, purchasing pajamas for the CAS Pajama Drive, participating in the Christmas Parade, donating to different sports teams and fundraising events. Thank you to everyone who has liked us on Facebook, referred our name, and for the ongoing support. Well, congratulations to our commercial retail winners, Bower Hill Services. Congratulations, Dan, and your team. That's exciting to see. Yes. Now, we are going to try and take this time to see if we can get a hold of him and to see if we can get him on live to accept this. Um, so in the meantime, while we wait for him... Yeah, maybe we can talk a little bit about the actual awards. Yeah. We just want you to know that this is the award that everyone is going to get in their category. It's a very nice award. It's looks like this, and uh, we will get your name... Uh, inscribed on it. And, and Jana is uh, the new Vanna showing off the awards. <laughs> yes. That's, uh, <laughs> yes. that's great. And, and we also have the nominees awards here that uh, also will be inscribed. And uh, Kim will contact everybody directly that gets either award and we'll have them within the next four weeks, we suspect, and Kim will call or email you and then send them directly to you or Good. deliver them, I believe she's going to do. Good. So, yeah. We're just uh, waiting still to connect a little bit, so we're going to stretch it out. Yeah, so we're going to go on. Okay. So we do have a, uh, a thank you from Dan. Just, to, or yeah. So yeah, we can read that. So Dale, sorry. Um, we'd like to thank our team, customers, and community for the continued support. As we wouldn't be here without you. We started with one truck and a big dream, and I'm so proud of where we are today. Bower Hill Services has enjoyed serving this amazing, booming community, and are proud to be part of Woodstock's ongoing growth. Now we're gonna move on to the next awards. 
Okay, the Food Services Award will be presented to an individual or business that engages in the preparation and delivery of food by exhibiting superior preparation, delivery, and customer service. And the three finalists in this food service category are Ironworks Kitchen, Plant Inspired Kitchen, and Two Guys and a Whisk Bakery. The sponsor of the Outstanding Food Service Award is Woodstock Print. Let's watch the sponsor's video and then reveal the winner video. Hi folks, Craig here from Woodstock Print. It's been one crazy year to say the least, but we were deemed essential early on in this pandemic and our doors have remained open. We're located at 16 Spring Make Ave South in Woodstock, just south of Dundas. We provide anything from a simple photocopy right up to a four color brochure or presentation folder, as well as apparel products and promotional products, as well as safety wear, embroidered, screen printed, anything with your name. Feel free to give us a call at 519-537-6239 or check us out at woodstockprint.com. Woodstock Print is once again proud to be the sponsor of the Outstanding Food Services Award. Congratulations to all the nominees and the winner is... I'm Lisa from Plant Inspired Kitchen, located at 7 Light Street here in Woodstock. We make plant-based meals from scratch that are delivered directly to your door in Woodstock, Ingersoll, and Intercamp. And you can also add on some great local businesses products like Early Bird Coffee, Habitual Chocolate, and Soul Purpose Bars. We really do believe in partnering with local businesses with our ingredients as well that we use in our facility. And that's why we use Bentham Family Farm Organics, Habitual Chocolate, um, Oak Manor Farms, Flowers, and J.D. Peters Tortillas. And if you're not looking for anything delivered, we're also carried at Inside You and at Maya Health Food Stores, and you can find our goodies at Beantown and Habitual Chocolate. I just want to take a moment to say thanks so much for the support over the five years from our community. We've really been welcomed with open arms and during the last six months during COVID, we've received great support as well. It's been challenging since this space used to host workshops a few times a week where we'd have the public in and even private ones to gather to do cooking workshops and to learn a little bit about plant-based ingredients. And since we can't do that anymore, just due to space limitations, um, we've decided that with challenge and change, there also comes opportunity. And that's why we're starting to offer some pop-up dates every Friday where we'll be delivering things like vegan charcuterie and vegan baked gluten-free donuts. And we're really looking forward to just continuing to serve the community with great, wholesome, healthy food and we really want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts for this nomination it really means the world to us if you want more information of course you can check us out on facebook at plant inspired kitchen or the website plantinspiredkitchen.com thank you congratulations lisa plant inspired kitchen good for you Again, we're going to see if we can uh, get a hold of Lisa that, so that she can uh, say something. I think, I think we do have Lisa ready to go here. So Perfect. We're going to... Okay. Wow, what a surprise. Um, I am really honoured to have our craft recognised this evening by such a great organisation and a virtual room full of people whom we truly admire. Thank you to all of our customers, family, and friends for your amazing support over the years. With your support, we're able to create and deliver healthy meals for our community. I really want to thank everyone from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, Lisa. That's great. Uh, just a quick note, Dale, if you're out there, we, uh, we had some technical difficulties with our email trying to get a hold of you. If you uh, want to 
get a hold of us during the chat, we can certainly fit you in in a bit. Uh, first, congratulations to you once again. Now, we're going to move on to the outstanding new business. And this is going to be presented to a new business created within the past three years and or a business owner who's demonstrated a level of financial risks and created opportunities for employment within the communities through expansion into new markets. The three finalists in the Outstanding New Business Award are Bear and Fox Apparel, Kintor Coffee Company, and Storage Solutions. The sponsor of the Outstanding New Business Award is Cowan Insurance Group. Let's watch their video first and then we will reveal the winner. Good evening, I am Teresa Weeks from Cowan Insurance Group. I work out of the Woodstock office for a personal line sales producer serving all over Ontario. Cowan Insurance sponsors the Woodstock District Chamber of Commerce Business Awards of Excellence. We will be presenting the Outstanding New Business Award this evening. These nominees have demonstrated the level of perseverance and financial risk necessary to make their business successful. We believe that serving our communities is a value shared by all successful businesses. Congratulations to all of tonight's nominees and winners. And without further ado, the 2020 winner for the Outstanding New Business Award is... Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? Todd Pearson, Kintor Coffee Company. What's going on? So I should tell you, we've done about five of these videos and uh, they're not going well for me. Uh, tried the creative route, wrote a song, did a skit, didn't work out great at all. Tried the professional route, wrote it all out on the computer, ended up reading off the computer just as bad. So this is me speaking from the heart, off the cusp. Uh, I hope it works out. So. I just want to say thank you so much for uh, for the nomination and and the recognition for this award. It's uh, it's incredible just to get nominated. It's uh, uh, justification for the hard work and the focus we put in for the last year. So a little bit about what's been going on this year. We've uh, managed to grow our uh, grow our wholesale company to uh, over 60 stores all over Ontario, working with multiple distribution companies. We took over a brick and mortar for all our processing. We opened our cafe. We launched our e-commerce uh, and home delivery. We ended up buying out a, a small company out of London uh, for our cold brew company, and um, and we hired an employee all through COVID. So uh, so it's been a crazy year, but it's been a good crazy. We've got a lot done and uh, and lots of plans for the future too. So uh, one of the best parts that that all of this is is brought on is working with all the local people. We have managed to. Uh, to collaborate with some really great local companies like Upper Thames, um, Utterly Ridiculous Ice Cream, um, Curly Brewing Co. We've done all kinds of stuff with all kinds of people. We have soap out there, we have perfume out there, we got everything. So uh, just getting to know these other entrepreneurs has been absolutely incredible. Also with opening the cafe, it's been so cool uh, having a space to invite people in to sell their products out of our place. So. Kintor Coffee Cafe has over a dozen local businesses like Tensford Candle, um, uh, Aunt Millie's Soups from St. Mary's, uh, fellow nominee Baron Fox Apparel, they're selling out of here too. Uh, and just seeing how all these people are, are growing their businesses and working so hard has been super cool to see. And seeing some of them get this nomination too is, is awesome too. So uh, it's been a heck of a year. It's been awesome. Um, so I just want to say thank you so much and the support that we've seen locally has been unbelievable. We absolutely love everybody who's sent us Instagram messages, Facebook messages, stopped into the cafe. Uh, we're, uh, we're so happy to meet all of you guys and, and so thankful for the support. So appreciate it guys and uh, win or lose, it's, it's been great getting to know everybody. So see you guys later. Awesome, that's great. Uh, outstanding new business winner, Kintor Coffee Company, and Todd Pearson and your team. So Todd, we have you queued up, I believe, and ready to go. Sorry guys, one second, I can't hear you. There you go. Hey guys, what's happening? How are you? <laughs> Wish we could hear you. Uh, this is incredible. Thank you so much. Uh, I want to thank uh, my team 
My wife, especially Candace Irvin, does all our graphic design for us. Mark Shaw, my main man, number one at the cafe. You guys uh, all know him. My mom and dad for helping me out. Um, I want to thank the uh, community for uh, for being so supportive. It's been so incredible. It's been an absolutely crazy year with everything that happened this year, and uh, uh, we couldn't have done it without all the support of everybody going on our Instagrams and our Facebooks and coming to the cafe. All the uh, all the shops that have uh, taken a chance and put us on their shelves. We appreciate it so much. It's awesome. Fellow nominee Baron Fox. Uh, they are amazing, and they, I believe, nominated us. So uh, it's incredible that we won it. It's awesome. Uh, all the Oxford, um, all the Oxford groups that have helped us out, like the Oxford Small Business Center, the uh, Rodic people uh, supporting Oxford tourism, all those places. It, uh, it's been unreal, um, and I can't believe uh, I can't believe we won it. I was sure we were uh, not going to be taking the trophy. So that's excellent. Thank you so much. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Todd, and uh, congratulations again. Okay, let's move on to the next one. The Young Entrepreneur Young Professional Award will be presented to a young professional entrepreneur who is 40 years of age or younger and who has exceeded and taken risks to expand their business and our client base. Awesome. Jana, you, you'd qualify for that. Yeah, the right. uh, three finalists in the Young Entrepreneur, Young Professional Award category are The Social Factory, Rebecca Kitchen RMTs and Workshops, and the Woodstock School of Dance and Yoga. Sponsor of the Young Entrepreneur, Young Professional Award is Community Futures Oxford. We're going to watch the sponsors video, and then once again, we'll go to the Reveal the Winners video. Hello everyone, I'm Lindsay Wilson from Community Futures Oxford, and I'm also here on behalf of the Future Oxford Legacy Fund. Now, Community Futures Oxford is your local small business support center serving all of Oxford County since 1993. We've been so proud to serve our small business community, but we've never been prouder over the last few months. We've seen how much resiliency there is in our community, and we've seen how hard our small businesses are working to keep our community safe and strong. So thank you so much to the small businesses. Now we're here to help you if there's anything we can do. We're here with advice, with small business financing, and even emergency relief financing for COVID-19. So if you'd like to find out more about how we can help, you can find more information at cfoxford.ca. I'm really proud to be here tonight to announce the Young Entrepreneur of the Year. Our organization has supported young entrepreneurs for many years, but over the last five years, we've been able to give $20,000 to young entrepreneurs starting or growing a business in Oxford County. So this award is very special to us, and we're so proud of everyone who was nominated. So without further ado, we're really proud to announce the winner of the 2020 Young Entrepreneur of the Year Award. Hi, I'm Rebecca Kitchen. I'm a registered massage therapist and I am the owner of Rebecca and RMTs. That name became more official in June 2018 when we moved to 513 Dundas Street and there were so many practitioners we didn't have enough room on the sign. Uh, right now we have four RMTs, a fascial stretch therapist who is also a personal trainer and a Reiki therapist. I've been a massage therapist for 13 years and I am a acupuncture practitioner for 10 and I also do cupping therapy as well as pre and post navel massage. I work with some of the greatest clients and colleagues. We have a great team and I love coming into work. One of my passions is to do fundraising for mental health or other charities in need that um, are local to Oxford County. One of the bigger ones I've had is for the free counseling in Oxford County. In the pandemic, it was really stressful for everyone and we kept a really close touch and talked daily with our team and just kept everyone motivated and ready to come back to work and any questions anyone had, we tried to, our best to just keep on going. and. Being back has been so awesome. We feel like we're back in our new normal, um, but we're just waiting to see what fall has to bring. When I first became an RMT, I knew I wanted to work for myself, but also have a team of other RMTs with me. So 
I created a space that could accommodate growing a family and being off and um, we are still growing now. So we have an awesome team and a busy clientele and we're very excited. I'm so thankful for whoever nominated me for this award and I am very grateful that I got to do this. I will either see you around looking like this or like this. Thank you and have a great day. Congratulations, Rebecca Kitchen, RMTs and Workshop. Um, I know that we've uh, got you up. We're just waiting to connect you so that we can hear what you have to say. Um, in the meantime... Well, we can maybe talk about some of the, uh, the voting that happened. Yeah. We had uh, over 900 uh, people voting in this. It's, uh, that's amazing that we had that many votes and, and so many people coming in and... Uh, uh, voting counts. Remember that always. Voting counts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a lesson well learned, isn't it? Uh huh. It sure is. Okay, I think we've got uh, Rebecca, and we can connect to her now. Thank you so much for the win and the nomination. This is very exciting. Um, I wouldn't be here without my staff, the girls that I work with, the other RMTs. I have. Dana and Steph and Carly, the, that stretch girl, and now Nicole and um, Donna who does Reiki. And we all work together and we're such a great team and they support every crazy idea I have with fundraising. And I'm so thankful for all of you who voted for me and all my clients who come in every week. And I'm, thank you. I don't really know what to say. This is so awesome. Uh, I really love this community and we've done a really great job of um, keeping everyone on the same page as far as fundraising and being together and I will stop talking now because I'm just really nervous so thank you. <laughs> That's awesome thank you Rebecca. Uh, we're going to move on now to the Community Engagement Award, and this is presented to an individual, a business, or a nonprofit organization who demonstrates outstanding commitment and involvement through endeavors for the betterment of our community and those who live within it. This could include, but not limited to, support of the arts and culture, amateur sports, education, youth, and societal issues. So the three finalists in the Community Engagement Award are Beautiful Empowered You, Oxford County Pride, and the Raw Carrot. The sponsor of the Community Engagement Award is BDO Canada. So let's watch their video, and then right after that, we will reveal who the winner is. Yeah, we're good to go. Welcome to BDO. I'm Steve Morris. I'm a partner here in Woodstock. Uh, as you can see, our offices are still closed, but all of our staff are working hard from home to provide the exact same level of service you're used to. Here at BDO, we're a full service accounting firm. We look after accounting, assurance, taxation, business transition, any of the specialized accounting needs that you, your business may need. Uh, we're happy to be a sponsor of the Community Engagement Award and congratulations and thank you to all of the, the nominees. And the winner is of Beautiful Empowered You. I'm a certified life coach that specializes in kids. My 13-year-old daughter, Ella, is my business partner. So what do we do? Well, I want you to do me a favor, and it's gonna sound a little strange, so stay with me here, but I want you to close your eyes. Imagine for a moment that you could walk into any room with confidence. Imagine you never got stressed out, and if you did, you could handle it with ease. Imagine you loved yourself so much that you never allowed yourself to be in a toxic relationship with a partner, a friend, a boss, or anyone else. Imagine you could fall asleep and stay asleep every night and wake up feeling refreshed every single morning. <laughs> Sounds pretty awesome, doesn't it? You can open your eyes now. 
That's what we want for kids. Ella and I run workshops and clubs for girl, kids, mainly girls, ages seven to 13, all about body confidence, managing anxiety, how to have a healthy relationship with themselves and others, empowerment, and everything else that life has to throw at them at that age. We recently launched our monthly empowerment toolkit subscription box too. Our goal is to help kids with these really important life skills at an early age so they set themselves up well for their future. We have been so fortunate to collaborate with so many local businesses in our community. Little Yoga Garden, Woodstock Community Complex, Cakes by K, the Oxford Drive-In, and so many more. We are honored to be nominated in this category. We need community involvement more than ever right now. With all of the negativity this year, we need to be there for each other as best as we can. So thank you. And thanks for watching. Have an awesome day. Bye. Well, that was good. The Community Engagement Award winner, congratulations to Beautiful Empowered You. And Lana, great job. And we believe we have connection with Lana now, so we can just move right to her. Hi, everyone. Um, this is, I'm Lana, this is my daughter Ella, um, and we just want to say thank you so much for the nomination and thanks to everyone who voted. Um, I thank you to all the other um, nominees, you guys do such great work in the community. I, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Do you have anything to say? No. Okay. <laughs> thank you very much. Congratulations, Lana, and uh, Beautiful Empowered You. This brings us to the closing of our meeting. We kind of zoomed right through that, didn't we? We sure did, and applause for everybody. So. Yes, yeah. excellent job. Um, we do have a little bit of last order of business. I want to take a moment, especially at this point in time, is to recognize and thank all of the frontline uh, workers, the essential workers, uh, during this most difficult year. Uh, it doesn't look like it's uh, getting any better yet. But you've stepped up and we want to honor all of you for your dedication to our community and in providing all of our needs and services without hesitation and ensuring that we remain safe. Absolutely. Thank you, Jenna. It was a, it was a pleasure hosting with you. This is a great mi reminder for all of us to support these amazing businesses and we encourage, uh, we will be encouraging this with our theme of Buy Close By, which is a shop local campaign we're going to be launching very shortly. Uh, congratulations to the nominees, of course, and to our winners. Thank you, everyone, for joining us and, having a, and making this a great evening for all of us. We will record this, and we are going to put it on our website as well as some social media. And Rogers is also going to play it throughout the year, as they always have done in the past with our Business Awards of Excellence. So thank you to Rogers, and thank you to Audio... Uh, Bob from uh, Armor, Pro. Uh, Armor Pro Audio, mm -hmm. if I can get that out. And uh, Kim, you've made this uh, a great success once again. Thank you, Jana. Thank you, Bob. Have a great evening.